Hello. Today we will cover a VM backup appliance based on QNAP NAS, which is a joint solution of Nakiva Backup and Replication and QNAP. Let's start with overview. You can now turn your QNAP NAS into VM backup appliance by installing Nakiva Backup and Replication directly onto your NAS device. The dedicated backup server requires additional hardware, be it CPU and RAM, regardless of whether it is a physical or a virtual machine. So now the solution is, you can install Nakivo Backup and Replication directly onto your NAS. The software will run directly inside the device. This will offload your infrastructure. This will remove the necessity to have a dedicated backup server. And you will get an all-in-one hardware plus software all-in-one box. Just a reminder that Nakivo Backup and Replication can protect VMware environment, exactly VMware vSphere, also Microsoft Hyper-V and AWS EC2. The backup is application consistent. We can keep up to 1000 recovery points per backup with GFS rotation, with deduplication, compression and encryption. Having a backup software directly inside the NAS device might boost your performance by 2x. In normal environments the performance is affected by the overhead of SIFs or NFS there is a network between the backup server and the backup destination. In this scenario, it's not the case. So by installing the Kiva backup and replication directly in the NAS device, you can eliminate some overhead, you can boost your speed and get 5x cheaper, more affordable solution. This is my QNAP NAS. I'm going to log in. To install Nakivo Backup and Replication in your QNAP NAS, you should just go to App Center, open the Backup section and find Nakivo Backup and Replication there. Here it is. Just click Install and it will install automatically. Besides this, you can also download Nakivo Backup and Replication package from Nakivo.com website. But I guess this one is the easiest way to install the software onto your QNAP. Let's wait till the installation is complete. Okay, so Nakiva Backend and Replication has been installed. It's available under My Apps right here and also with the desktop icon. So let's click the icon and start working with Nakivo. And accept the license agreement, of course. Let's add a Vicente server to the inventory. While it is being added, I'd like to say that we support not only VMware, but also Amazon EC2 and Microsoft Hyper-V. Okay, the item has been added. It has lots of hosts. I won't use all of them for this demo, of course. Transporter is a component that's responsible for data transfer and data processing. One transporter has been installed automatically. It's located on the same NAS box. And there is a backup repository. So we have everything here. We are ready to create our first backup job. To do that we should just click create and choose the backup job. I will pick a VM from this cluster. The backup will go to the onboard repository. We can skip one of the two hard drives if needed. The job won't run on any schedule. We won't keep a lot of recovery points and we will leave all the settings by default. Let's finish and run this job.
So the VM processing seems to be started. I guess it will back up this VM quite fast because it's a small VM. It's running. We can view job speed right here and the amount of transferred data on the right hand side. Okay, so the backup has been completed and let's now try recovering some files. To do that, let's just click recover and then individual files. We can recover from a backup that's a child of our job or we can just recover from the backup repository. I have some number of backups made previously to this NES device, so I can just choose this Windows 2012 VM. Okay, the VM has been opened. We can browse hard drives and partitions here. And then recover some log file. As you can see, we have it right here, it has all the content. So that was about it for the entire demo. Let's now speak of the end results that you might get with the joint solution of Nakivo Backup and Replication and QNAP NAS. What you essentially get with this kind of solution is fast backups that save your resources. They have small footprint and you can have all the industry standard features to protect virtualization platforms. The backups are small because the storage space is being saved by exclusion of swap files, global DID application, network acceleration and backup compression. And of course you get extensive recovery capabilities with flash VM boot, screenshot verification, replica recovery and such things as backup copy to the cloud, to off-site locations, application recovery and so forth. Thank you for watching and listening and please try Nakiva backup and replication on QNAP if you haven't already tried.